So the information here on the left is what is provided prior to question number 11. We see that it's a diagram question because we have this visual input provided to us. More specifically, it is a graph question. So whenever I have a diagram, I like to check it out first before reading anything, just to see if I can get a sense of what's going on. Looks like we have a X axis that is height, a Y axis that is weight. And we have some points along here with what looks like a line of best fit, right? The line doesn't go through the points. It just kind of gives you the general trend of where the points are headed. So the information here says each data point on the scatter plot uh, in inches and weight Y in pounds for a llama in a sample of 10 llamas. A line of best fit is also shown. So we understood all that, right? I didn't know those points were llamas, but it doesn't really change the height versus weight thing. Question 11 says, what is the range of the heights for the sample of 10 llamas? So this question really is about, do you understand what the word range means? And range is simply the difference between the highest value, so I'll just say high, minus the lowest value. So the range for the heights means we want to know, well, what is the, the highest value for the heights? So I'm going to go to my x-axis. The highest value for the heights is right here, right? Like that llama is the tallest, and it is 76 inches. So the high is 76. The lowest or the shortest llama is right here, and its height is 60 inches. So 76 minus 60. So the range, therefore must be the difference between 76 and 60, which is 16, and the answer is choice A.